Hello everyone, and welcome to the story time with Billy channel with me, Billy. How are you today? Good. I'm good too because it's fun with phonics. Woo and today we are going to be reading some phase four tricky words. Can you remember what a tricky word is? Of course. They're words that don't follow the rules of phonics. They can be a bit naughty, tricky words. But today, we're going to learn some tips and tricks to try and read these phase four tricky words. Are you ready? Good, me too. Let's do it. Time to read some phase four tricky words. Let's go. Ooh. Now, don't forget, they can be a little bit tricky. Oh. Ooh, we better go on and read these tricky words before they cause any more trouble. Let's see if we can sound out the word normally first and see what the problem might be. S A D Said Does that sound right? No. I think I can hear a familiar word in there. Let's try a different way. S A D Said Said Can you read it? Said I said Let's do it! Said. Good job, everyone. We're off to a good start. Ooh, here's another, ooh, another tricky word. S. O. So. Hmm. That doesn't sound right, does it? I wonder if we make the name of this letter O, will that work? S. O. So. Oh, it's so. So. I was hungry, so I made some lunch. So, your turn? So, good job everyone. Oh, well this word has one O, like so. So I'm going to try turning the O into its name. D-O, do. Hmm, now I know do is a word, a female deer, but that spelling is D-O-E. There's no E in this word. D O D O. No, that still doesn't sound right. Hmm. What if I try a different way? D O D O. Does that sound right? Yes, it's the word do. Do. As in, do you want to go outside and play? Do. Good job, everyone. Right. Let's see if we can sound this word out. A V E. Have it. Hmm. I'm not sure that's right. Hmm. Is it a split diagraph, perhaps? Like we learned in phase five. Let's try. Ave. Have. No, that still doesn't sound right. I wonder if this E is meant to be quiet. Shh. Should we try? Let's remove it for a second. A. V. Have. Oh, it's the word have. And the E shh, is quiet. Have. Have. Have a nice day. Have. Good job, everyone. Now, phase five, we normally learn split diagraphs where a two letter sound is split in two to put another in the middle. So unless you know split diagraph, this word next will be tricky. Let's sound it out normally first. U, I, K, E, Lick, E. No, that's not right. This word has a split diagraph I in it. So let's try and sound it out as if we know what a split diagraph is. U, I, K, like, 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 like. I like it, I like it. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Let's sound this word out. S, O, M, E, Sommel. No, that doesn't sound right. We need to put these three letters together to make another sound. S, um, some, some. Some people like the color red. Some people like the color blue. Some, good job everyone. And if we know what some is, k, um, come, come, come over and play. Come outside. Come. 
I wonder what this word could be. W e r e. That doesn't sound right, does it? It looks like we've got the er digraph in there. W e r. W e r. Ah, the e is quiet again. Er. W e r. W e r. W e r. We were at school last week. Ah, look, e r e. This must be er again. I'm going to try to read this word. The er. The. Hmm. Now I sound like I'm northern. I wonder if it makes a different sound. The er. There. Oh, it's there. There. Look over. There. There. We are getting through these tricky words. Well done, everybody. Hmm. U, I, T, U, L, little. Hmm. That still doesn't sound right. I reckon this E must be quiet again. Let's try it when the E is quiet. U, I, T, U, little. Oh. Little, little. <laughs> Little. Can you try? Little. As in very, very small. Hmm. This one looks a bit confusing. O n e o n e one n e one e o n no. I can't work this one out. We'll have to think really carefully about this one and read all of the words, all of the letters together. One. One, as in the number one. One, singular sensation. One, good job everyone. Everyone. <laughs> hmm. Now this word would be tricky if you don't know what these two letters make. This digraph makes the sound w, w, e, n, when. When, when are we going back to school? When. And again, this word would also be tricky unless you've learnt phase five sounds. Ow, out, 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 get out, out. One more tricky word. Now, you would learn this digraph at phase five, w. Let's sound it out and see if it still works. W, at, wat. Mm mm, that doesn't sound right. This A needs to make a different sound. W -o -t. What? What? What did you say? What? Good job, everybody. Wow, we've learned loads of new words. Now let's see if we can remember them and try and read them. Are you up for the challenge? I'm going to shuffle them up and we'll see what tricky words we can read. Let's do it. Remember, when I push the word forward, it's your turn to read it. So have a look at the letters. Ready? So, oh. ready, said, when, won, good job, little, oh, that was a tricky word, it's disappeared, oh, there we go, thanks everyone. Good job so far. What? There. Were. Come. Out. Some. Well done, everyone. Keep going. Like. Have. And one more. Let's do it. Do. Woohoo! Well done, everybody. We've learned some phase four tricky words. Give yourself a round of applause. Tiny clap. Silent clap. And a seal of approval. 
Well done, everybody. That was phase four tricky words. Hopefully you've learned how to read them now and you can carry on being super readers. Thank you for joining me on the Storytime with Billy channel. Tune in next time when we're going to learn to read some more words. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.